gosh, this looks so good. So, do you want to talk about what happened last night? My insecurity that I'm not a tall brunette. I can, I'll leave that up to you, but when you think if it's an issue, then you should, and you want to talk about it, then you should. So Amber and I had a conversation last night that did not go very well. Um, Amber asked me who my celebrity crush was, and I told her Jessica Biel. And Amber's response was, of course, well, I don't look anything like Jessica Biel. And it kind of just spiraled out of control from there. This has been arguing about something that I just feel is ridiculous because I'm absolutely sexually attracted to Amber. I'm just worried like you're like disappointed like when you saw me that I'm not like what you had in mind. I was open to whoever walked out that door. I was going to be like put my best foot forward and be supportive and, and welcoming. But what I can't change is what I said before I met you, which like you know wasn't a blonde. It, it wasn't. It's just always in the back of my mind. Whenever I first heard he liked tall brunettes, it's just worried me, like, is he attracted to me or is it just because he's just around me all the time? So I think just because I'm more invested now, how attracted I am to him, I just hope that he feels the same way. But it, I don't know why, I'm having a hard time. Unfortunately, it's all too common for people to let minor physical details prevent them from finding their happily ever after. The whole idea of Married at First Sight is to see if by starting with commitment, we help these couples avoid the issues that might derail them if they were only dating. The other night, Dave and I had a conversation that was very upsetting and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since then. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pepper is coming over and hopefully she can find a way to help us through this. Um. So, where do you feel the challenges are? Going into this experiment, you know how we talk about who we are naturally attracted to? So I pretty much described Dave. But it came up that he said he's usually attracted to tall brunettes. So I've just been paranoid for a while about it. You're having a sexual relationship. And that sounded like it was a frequent sexual relationship. <laughs> yes, yes. So I mean, I feel desired. So I don't know. I don't know why that is stuck in my head. And we knew that he was interested in tall, darker women, but we obviously thought there were way more important things he wanted that you were. And of course, we did know that he would want somebody very attractive. But of course, you are and you don't want to undermine yourself by really needless worries. I think everyone has insecurities. Hopefully it's something we can move beyond because there are a lot of things that I really like about Amber and I'm involved in this process. I'm committed to going through them with her and committed to finding the reasons that were put together and latching onto those rather than latching onto the negatives. I do care about you deeply. I think we're on a, a great path together and that, you know, I just, I am happy that's you and I care about you a lot. So I think just accept that as real. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me feel a lot better. My insecurity of not being Dave's type will kind of be there for a while, but after talking with Dr. Pepper, I feel better about it because maybe he says he has a type because that's just who he's dated in the past. And he really didn't know who was right for him. And the fact that they put us together based on things other than the way that we look is what really matters. We off to a great start. Yeah. A great start, truly. Now Thank you. That I see is how you complete me and it's time now i steer myself on home